Good morning, guys. Welcome to the jungle. It is a jungle. Holy moly. I really need to get Sam to help me with um, my with my tomatoes. They're falling over. Look at all of those. They want to turn red, and there's more over there. And then there's a bunch of red ones here. These ones never turn like a really deep red. There's a lot that need to be picked. Lots of food in the jungle today. I really need to work on my garden. Today is the day, you guys. Usually by now I have tons of peas. And I do see some, but they look like that still. Not quite ready. But this one looks ready. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna have to come out here and pick peas. Trouble in paradise. She just noticed that Sophie's not here. She was happy and running, but now, whoops, now her girl's not here and she just can't handle that. <laughs> Come on, Daisy. Come on. Look up. There we go. Look. Come on. See, she's looking at my sign. She ignores me. Come on. She's looking at Molly. She's looking at my sign. Looking at my sign. Come on. Looking for Sophie. Come on. Come on. She's getting excited. She's looking for Sophie. <laughs> Waiting for Sophie. Come on. She loves her Sophie. Come on. <laughs> She's thinking about it. Come on. Molly, go get Daisy. Oh, finally. Oh. Silly girl. Good morning, Tony. I have to close the door. Good morning. You guys hear her? She said good morning. She said give me my, my breakfast. Oh, I had to go up to the house 10 times to get the Dalmatian. Because if anything is out of whack or out of order, she doesn't like it. Oh, man. So yeah, basically she's a creature of habit and she can only do things that we've taught her to do. Like if we change things up, it, it confuses her. Here you go. Here you go, Princess Penny. Over here. Here you go. Right. I've lost the Dalmatian again. So uh, this morning I'm doing chores all by myself because I don't know if you guys can tell by the videos, but we've had a couple of really crazy days. And by crazy, I mean like We've hardly been home at all. Hardly been home, hardly been able to like. I just sat on the couch this morning for five minutes and it was glorious. And I know the kids are all still sleeping. Kaylee's here. Elizabeth has gone home. Dalmatian is here. <laughs> oh my goodness. So I let the girls sleep. Sam's at work. I let the girls sleep because it's important to me that they get enough sleep because you guys don't know what the day by day girls are like if they don't get enough sleep. And I cannot be handling that. I slept like dead last night. Literally was in bed, I think, by nine maybe. I have a lot of videos to edit. And I have to sign uh, Gabby up for the show. Their show page where you sign up was down all the way till yesterday. It came back up, and so I have to do that today. And we might be going to another show with Sophie, something you guys are gonna die to see, like something totally different kind of show than we've ever done before but you guys have been asking for her, so that might happen might be a busy weekend that's what happens in Canada in winter you do nothing 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 because it's too cold and too snowy and then in summer you do everything all right Daisy's found her rock and she's happy oh I know it's humid it's humid out huh 70 degrees inside again 70 in the barn is not hot at all but it is really hot outside usually Sam brings the dogs down every morning oh my gosh what is it? Was there a bug? Oh, you poor girl. <laughs> I'm really getting to see how much being deaf really affects your life. Like it's not just, it's not just that you can just train them and all of a sudden they're beautiful because she's trained and she does really well. But then when we, <laughs> there's, a, there's a bug. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay, Daisy. It's just a bug. Molly, go get the bug. Molly. Oh my gosh, you're ripping apart a ball. Molly, go get that bug. Go get it. Go get the bug. Show her, Daisy. There's a bug. <laughs> yes, go. No. 
Only you care about bugs, yeah. So she's not used to ever coming down here by herself with me, and so that threw her through a loop. I'd chase her down. She kept going back to the door looking for Sophie. Come here. Is it even a bug? Oh my God, it's a frog. I'm scared too. <laughs> I thought she was scared of this, but she was scared of that. Sophie would be so excited. Oh my goodness, you're so fat. Well, you're in the right house. <laughs> you're in the right barn. What do you think? Come on. It's just a frog, it's a toad. Come on, you can see it, come on. Can't see it, <laughs> she's not going. She's not going, she's like, help, it's a frog. You're such a cute girl, yes you are. <laughs> oh my goodness, it's just a frog. If Shelby was here, she'd pick it up. Molly, look, Ruby, look, Ruby. Look, 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 look. Oh, yeah, look, look, look. Show Daisy it's okay. Look, oh, they're all afraid of it. <laughs> come here, Molly. Molly, come here. Look, oh my God. Look, look, it's a frog. World's most terrifying frog on the day by day farm. Yeah, guys, I need to catch it so that we can <laughs> do stuff in the barn. They're all terrified. Oh, come on, it's a frog. They don't even have teeth. Do they have teeth? All right, now they made me scared of it. <laughs> they got guard dogs and they're afraid of a frog. Oh, man, you guys. I have to go back up to the house and wake up Sophie. And tell her to come down and move the frog. Because, yeah, like, how am I going to go out that door? We're all afraid. We're all afraid of the frog. <laughs> Nobody's going over there anymore. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh my gosh. See, this is how I mean she's like the most affectionate, loving dog. They saw the frog and they're like, I'll just rest here and stay away from the frog. She looks at the frog and has to come to me and make sure that I can tell her it's okay. See, she's terrified. <laughs> it's a frog. It's a frog, Daisy. Yeah, I know. Being scared is no fun. Not being able to hear is no fun. Not being able to figure something out is not fun, huh? No. the Dalmatian because she's gone. Yeah, just like I suspected. Only one's going in. You guys stay out. Just the non-farm dogs going in. Molly, stay. Oh my goodness. Kids and horses. Where did I put the bug spray? All right. So uh, this little mini wouldn't let me put on her fly spray, so she had to wait. You have to wait. Not a fly spray, her fly mask. If she wants to go out, I'm noticing a trend here, people. Sophie's pets are all brats. Listen, listen. Okay, well, you're gonna stay in then. I pulled myself a little pony. Now we're gonna do fly spray. Keep the fly spray here and you get it before we go out. All right, let's see. Listen, listen, it's just bug spray. Yeah, good girl. Good girl, this helps you, yeah. Oh, it's such a good pony. Such a good pony, yeah. All right. Oh, I hope it rains. Otherwise, the girls are gonna make me take them to the beach today because it is scorching. I'm sweating so bad. It's like the humidity is on me. It's so wet. You ready? You ready, little mini? I think what it is is that Sophie gets all the hard pets and then nobody else manages them because they're annoying. All right, go. Be free. I don't know if I got the wrong fly mask on. Willow. I don't think so, though. I don't think it's tight enough. All right, I did it, you girls, you ladies, you men. I did it all. I brought them all out. All fly masked, all fly sprayed, all in the field, lots of water. 
Sam did that. <laughs> Sam always spills the water and stuff if he knows he's gonna be at work. Soon Sam will be at work again five days a week, unfortunately for us. I thought I should explain about Daisy before I finish my chores and before I forget, and before I forget that I wanted to tell you guys something about Daisy. The thing about Daisy is we bought Daisy as a farm dog, as a hyper active farm dog, and she's not a farm dog. She can't come down unless she has her breakfast. She can't come down unless she has the right people. She can't come down if something changes down there. She can't be in the barn if there's a frog in the barn. She's not a farm dog. She's not even an active dog. She's probably our least active big dog. And even though she's not what we thought we were getting, and even though she's not what we thought we wanted, keep Daisy because she's funny and she's so sweet. Have you ever loved something just because it's sweet and genuine and amazing, even though it wasn't what you wanted it to be? And so that's the lesson in, in Daisy. And that's the lesson I think we should all know is that sometimes even when things are not the way you want them to be, or the way you expect them to be, or the way you would do it, you only have to see the good things in the situation to recognize the beauty. So even though things are not like we thought they would be with Daisy, taking a few minutes to only see the amazing that Daisy is, is what makes us happy and what makes Daisy happy and what makes Daisy work for us. So that's my lesson to you guys today, is to go out there and approach every situation you can. I know it's hard, so just do every situation you can and only look for good things. Only look for the good things. Oh gosh. If you only notice the good things about that girl that drives you crazy, find something you relate to. And only look at that, suddenly, oh good lord. Suddenly your horses will all be in heat. So our neighbors are getting treated to a wonderful display of affection in the field. Penny's got all sorts of love bites on her neck because Willow loves Penny today. Penny's in heat and Willow's in heat. And they be screaming. Willow's a screamer. Gracie's our only normal one today. So that is my challenge to you guys today. Even if you do it with this video, find something about me that you like. Find something about Sophie that you like. Find something about Gabby that you like. And only think about that. Let the rest go. And then soon, before you know it, you will like everybody in the world because you will be able to relate to them on one specific thing. And then all the stuff that you don't like will just fade into the distance. And that's what I do with Daisy. And that's what I do with everybody that I meet. And you know, I hardly ever meet people that I don't like. Isn't that crazy? Like, when I was younger, I hardly liked anybody. And now that I learned that one little trick, I hardly don't like anybody. So I challenge you to try that today. Go out there, look at your husband, and be like, wow, you got good hair. <laughs> and if that's the only thing that you can focus on today, keep looking at his hair. And before long, you'll start to notice that he has a great laugh, or that he has good eyes, or those little tiny things that he does that you don't even know, but he does to make you happy. And then suddenly, you'll be so happy. Ruby, show us where the kitty is. Where's the kitty? Where is she? Where is he? Where's the kitty? I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a I, sp I spy with my little eye, a little Ollie. A little Ollie cat, and he just stays there when the dogs are down here. And every day I know where the cat is because of this cat dog. She can find a cat anywhere. What time is it? 12.31. 12.31 and the girls just came downstairs. I keep this stupid black fuzzy thing on the camera. It's driving me bonkers. But anyways, it is 12.31. The girls just came downstairs. And uh, I've had the craziest morning of life, you guys. It has been so stressful. I'm making bacon and eggs now and toast. And we're going to sit down and eat. And I'm hoping that that will fix me. Because I just went through the craziest thing. What time did you go to bed last night? Oh, when you told me to. Oh, yeah. Sophie went to bed early with me. So the first thing that happened was that my phone was dead, meaning that nobody, like normally I wake up and I have like 27 messages from people that are all urgent. I have to get back to them. It's people needing this, people wanting this, I need to do this, like all these emails and messages that I have to handle and there were none. And I was like, hmm, why is my phone so quiet? Why is my phone so quiet? There's a problem, I just felt eerie. Has that ever happened to you? Or like you're so busy all the time and then suddenly you're not busy and you feel like there's something wrong? Yeah, that happened. So that happened first. I'm just buttering the toast here. So I just felt eerie and the girls were still sleeping, but it was okay. And then 
I had to try and sign Gabby up for the show. Oh my gosh, for the show on the weekend. What a disaster. So the show was so hard, I couldn't figure it out. I was like, I was ready to cry. I, I was almost crying, I'm not gonna lie, because it was just awful. Signing the shows up are so, signing up for the shows are awful. It's just so hard. Anyway, finally Brandon did it for me. Yeah, if you cry hard enough, Brandon will feel sorry for you. Um, so Brandon did it for me and that was so much better, thank the Lord. Uh, but I'm still like feeling the stress of that. And then all of a sudden somebody messaged me and said, Laura, your Trillium Zone, they have your name highlighted. And so I read the post and it said, if your name is highlighted, you're gonna lose your points for the show that you already did. So the points are what determine if you go to champs, unless you like give them this information. And then I was like, I almost cried. I was freaking out thinking Gabby's gonna lose her points because I didn't know what I was doing. And then the lady was amazing, fixed it all for me right away and like, ouch. It worked out, but oh my gosh. And the whole time uh, it was happening, I was just thanking God that the girls were still sleeping because I was freaking out. All right, girlies, it's time. Oh, look. She actually wants to come, or she thinks I have treats. Got you. Caught you. I caught this one. I got the girls coming, and I don't want her to run off. Yeah, well, listen, I already told you yesterday, if somebody does your chores for you, you accept however they do it. I couldn't even put this girl's fly mask on today. But I bug sprayed them, no bugs. Told ya, that one lets you catch her. You know, you're making me look bad, Penny. I tell everybody you love me. Aww, and you make me walk to you. What's that about, huh? We are in, we are in. Thank the Lord, because it's hot. See what the temperature is now. Oh, listen to her. What happened? Okay, hold on. So, Paige's mom was showing me all the stuff that Paige has. It's pretty, pretty much from when her mom used to ride horses. And she took care of all the stuff so good. The whole point of my story is that Paige's mom kept care of her for everything. Ah! Uh, Paige's mom kept care of all of her stuff, and here's our lunch whip, dog toys. Dog toys, do you keep care of all your stuff or you let your dog play with it? I take care of my dog. Yeah, man. It is hot, is it hot? It is hot. Oh my gosh. Sophia has a frog. You need to take that home and show your dog. Show Gracie. Show Gracie. Don't, Don't eat it. Don't picks up the frogs and brings them to me. Oh, are they still alive? Sometimes. <laughs> it's a good thing our dogs are all afraid of them. We try. We trained our dogs to be scared. Just joking. No, show Molly. Oh yeah, see that's what I've been talking about. Basically, Willow wants to love bite Penny on the neck, and Penny. Molly. And now, these are these are love games, you guys. I don't know if you can see behind Penny. Oh my God. Oh my God. That is not pee. That is why. Holy crap, that's why Penny needs drugs for her hormones. Holy moly moly. Was he, beso was he behind the door? Yes, we know. Yeah, she'll go in heat next. Last time they, Penny and uh, Willow, Gracie were in heat together. And I don't even think Willow went into heat last time, but she's in heat this time, let me tell ya. We know, we know. It's crazy. And over here in ring number two. Don't lick it. If you lick a frog, it turns into a princess. Prince. You want a no, prince? Kissing. Well, licking is kissing. Kiss show Molly. So, show Penny. Kiss it? Sh show Penny the frog. Oh my goodness. You'd be kissing frogs over here. It's a frog, Pen. Aww. Oopsie. Uh oh. He tried to jump and she grabbed his leg. Show Penny. Willow's like, are you a boy? Because I could sure use a boy right about now. Penny too. It's a boy! <laughs> All right, go ahead. Sophie rescued him. But maybe he wants to be behind the door in the, sun, in the heat of the sun. Maybe that's where he was sleeping. We're going to the beach, okay? We'll be back after the beach. But before the beach, we have one more job to do. One more job. And it's not cutting the grass down here because I did it. 
and the wheel on my lawnmower fell off. A couple of vlogs ago, you guys saw we got some new baby chickens and they be looking so cute. So they've never been outside before. We had to leave them inside until we had time to be home with them and put them out. All right, so these chickens are good for food and I'm gonna get them, these ones, some healthy food, some baby food. Set them down. All right, so Snow White first. Snow White. And then a shadow. And then shadow. <laughs> so our plan is to keep them hey, in. look, they're two little babies, they're twins. And the shoe. Yeah, you gotta go clean this out and put some, so we can put new food in it. It got all wet. All right, so let's get food and water. I think I'm gonna put them in this little area. There's like a little perch. I'm gonna get food and water, lock them in here until we get home. Just that tiny area. And at night, just until they get used to those chickens. Look at those chickens. That's an Easter egg for sure. You guys see her big cheeks? Uh-oh. She's like, wow, we have a perch. This is the first time they've been outside because at their other house, they... See? The two by ones. Yeah, at their other house, they had like a little shed. So I'm gonna, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna figure it out and get them all set up before we go to the beach. You guys ready for it? You're my dream chickens. Oh, this, so I got a little door here. I love it, you guys, this is amazing. I don't think this is like safe for them because our gray one in there, or our black and white one, our, our barred rock got out before. So now I'm just gonna put some water and food in there and leave them in there for like a week to acclimatize. Get used to these guys. You guys got food, you got water. And the other good thing is, is that Sam put this door here. So it's got screen so air can go through, but then it's got non-screen here so that there's like a spot that the food can stay or the chickens can go and stay dry. All right, so we see a hole here they could get through. We could use a good fence fixer. All right, that's the best I could do. I will have to get Sam to fix all the things when he comes home. The lawnmower wheel, the chicken coop, but they have their own little spot there. Food and water, and it's tiny, but they'll only be there while these guys get used to them. See, they already be checking them out. the beach and I had trouble parking the car. I was so ambitious. I'm like, you know what? I can do it. I can do it. I tried to squish in here beside this red car and then this other red car. Yeah. And then I got all flustered because everybody's screaming at me and then some boy said I'll drive. So he did it for me. We brought our little boat. Kaylee's in it out there. Hopefully she doesn't get washed out to sea. You guys see her? So hot and you can't do anything but you can come outside and sit at the water like it's just sitting here there's such a cool breeze being by the water it's cool compared to being in town so just being able to come here and hang out is just a big huge lifesaver don't you know that you're beautiful? 